Individual cancer carries a very heavy global cancer burden. Each year, over half a million patients die from this disease. Squamous cell carcinoma is the predominant histology around the world. Patients receiving first-line chemotherapy for uh, squamous cell cancer of the esophagus had a poor survival, with a median of about 10 months or less. Checkmate 648 is the largest randomized control trial conducted to date in this setting assessing a dual checkpoint inhibitions, ipilimumab plus nivolumab, or adding checkpoint uh, inhibitor to chemotherapy uh, in this study. So patients were recruited with advanced esophageal squamous cell cancer irrespective of their tumor PDL1 expression. 970 patients were randomly allocated into one of three groups. The first group is adding nivolumab to chemotherapy, and the chemotherapy backbone in this study is cisplatin and 5-FU. The second group is um, the combination of nivolumab plus ipilimumab, and the third group is our control arm with chemotherapy alone. The primary endpoint of this study is overall and progression-free survival in our biomarker-defined uh, patient group where the tumor had a pdl one expression of 1% or more. The secondary endpoints including all patients uh, randomized in this study. So in our first treatment comparison uh, of comparing um, nivolumab plus chemotherapy versus chemotherapy alone, first of all, I'd just like to mention just about, uh, just under half of the patients in this global study had a tumor pd one expression of 1% or more. So in our primary patient population, there was a significant improvement in overall survival in favor of adding nivolumab to chemotherapy. Uh, the hazard ratio was 0 0.54, which equate to a 46% relative reduction in the risk of death. So there was an uh, improvement of over six months in median overall survival. In our all randomized patient population, there was again a significant improvement in overall survival in favor of nivolumab plus chemotherapy. In terms of progression-free survival, there was also a significant improvement with NEVO plus chemo in our primary patient population of PDL1 uh, positive uh, tumors. In terms of response rate, they were uh, higher when we add nivolumab to chemotherapy. In fact, there was a, a traveling of complete response with NEVO plus chemo uh, compared to chemotherapy alone, again, in our primary patient population. In our second treatment comparison of ipilimumab plus nivolumab versus chemotherapy, uh, once again, we observed a significant overall survival benefit of using a chemotherapy-free option, i.e. ipilimumab plus nivolumab. Um, the hazard ratio was 0 0.64. In our all-randomized patient population, again, we observed a significant overall survival benefit. However, interestingly, in the, uh, in the uh, dual checkpoint inhibition uh, comparison, the survival curve initially uh, crossed over, but in the lat latter time points, uh, there was a much higher proportion of patients with prolonged survival uh, for the immunotherapy arms. Progression-free survival were, however, no difference, uh, which is as expected from other randomized controlled trials. Response rate was again higher with ipilimumab plus nivolumab in patients where the PDL1 expression was higher. Uh, sorry, PDL1 expression was positive. Uh, again, there was a traveling or complete response rate. For those patients who achieved a response in immunotherapy, they were much more prolonged in terms of duration of response compared to the responses achieved by chemotherapy alone. Safety were different. Uh, spectrum in the chemotherapy containing arms compared to the immunotherapy along arms. But encouragingly, treatment related deaths were very low across all three groups and they were uh, similar. So, in conclusions, based on uh, overall survival benefits seen in both our primary patient population uh, of tumor PDL1 expression 1% or more, as well as in all randomized patient population, the addition of nivolumab to chemotherapy or nivolumab ipilimumab, each of these should now represent the new potential first-line standard of care in patients with um, advanced esophageal squamous cell carcinoma based on Checkmate 648 study, the largest randomized control trial conducted to date.